Hey, you. Yeah, you. Hey, guys. Before we get into this video, let's take a moment to talk about Humble Bundle. I recently partnered with Humble Bundle, which has set out on a mission to provide gamers a place to buy games and bundles while supporting charities. My link will be down in the description. By using my links, it'll help to support my channel and also a good cause. Anyways, you can pick up this game I'm currently playing and many more great titles in the store. Now let's get back to the video. Previously on... What the hell? Alright. Almost didn't make a couple of those. you to make yourselves at home but uh so is everybody on board and ready to go all right Brad did his homework if he says a rex here it's here <laughs> man it's not a problem what do you think like uh 10 bucks cover it what the hell <laughs> whoops my bad let's make it 20. well shoot you, you think it's more like 30 i can do 30. all right you oh, guys God. drive a hard bargain but i'm with you here let's just throw in the whole pot said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh, 
Oh, wrong button. Ah, fuck. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, um, ladies first. That's not <laughs> good. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Oh. Julia. Leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Why not? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Oh my god! I'm sorry. You do something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that. I don't... Hey. Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. Yeah, we'll play it off cool. They were on their way to help out a ship. Lodge. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Oh. Whoa, whoa. I 
pink and wet my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. <laughs> God, <dude. laughs> Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. <laughs> Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. I got me. I got me. God, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right time, but I guess no times. Right time. Yes. That's a bad oh, time to do that. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I. I. Oh crap. I, Alex, I'm. I'm sorry. I. I mean, I. I, I just. I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Uh, let's be all like. Wow, what a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, it got me. It got me. Flizz, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where the hell did that come from? Wait, Julia. We gotta decompress here. Whoa! Oh. Damn. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. It's gonna cause her to have that's gonna probably kill her. Fuck it, I'm going. Oh, this is gonna kill her. JJ, don't worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? What's up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. Oh, what's that? You go and tell my fate. <laughs> You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, 
the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Yeah. Strong, forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Oh boy. I just doomed her. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, Matt, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? I'm still playing as her. Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Uh, I guess so. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll, we'll sell some more. I love you, Alex. <laughs> Alright. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Boy. What the hell? Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> So sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. <laughs> All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post proposal? Believe me, honestly. Okay, so. Been carrying that around for a while. thing looks so. Why'd you do it on the dime? But like almost all all the characters have couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro, bro. Uh, wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. Two, I was talking about med school still. We're over the top, bro. Uh, oh, wrong button. Uh, 
right here. What? I just kind of skipped. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. I saw her death. All right, everyone. Check it out. So. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. Oh I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. <laughs> They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. 
in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Ah. Uh. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> So ah, gross. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice uh, one, Squire. Uh. You have me going. Pretty cool. Hit me on the cheese. I still there, can't believe on. that fish scared me. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. That's not creepy. It's that weird guy again. I know! I forget about that. Bad news is these are kind of 
Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Ah, uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. <laughs> hey. Hi. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Hi. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Oh, God. Oh, that got intense. Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with them. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck! And that looked like that one old man. Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. 
Julia, it's okay. It's okay. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, he, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, oh boy. Just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. This sounds like a bad idea. I failed that. One of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo. Oh, no, no saving these guys. We're all doomed. When you had the chance. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. 
I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us up! That asshole! Put a cork in it! Ah, God. Ah! <laughs> Sit still, all of you. That was my chance, and I blew it. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long this storm is gonna last. Do you try anything? Anything to get you. And there be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. I guess. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple buffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Okay, I couldn't let that guy drown down there. Yeah, Everyone's still exactly. alive. Things could have been quite different. I saw him on the boat.
Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Mm. I probably shouldn't have said that. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching my video. If you like my content, please be sure to smash that like button. Also, while you're at it, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Anyways, thank you so much. Uh, I truly love you guys and... I'll see y'all in the next one. Lights up.